What is the Glastonbury Festival? Glastonbury is the biggest music festival in the United Kingdom. The world's top artists perform on several stages, over five days. Acts include, contemporary music, dance, comedy, theatre, circus, cabaret, and other arts. Where, and when is the festival held? The Glastonbury Festival is held at Worthy Dairy Farm, near Glastonbury in southwest England. The festival happens in June every year, except for fallow years, when the land and organizers take a break. Fallow years usually happen every five years. In 2020, the festival was cancelled for the first time ever, due to the COVID pandemic. When, and why was it started? The first Glastonbury Festival was held in 1970, and only lasted one day. Michael Evis hosted the first festival, after seeing an open-air Led Zeppelin concert in 1970. The festival is still inspired today by the hippie culture of the 1960s, and the free festival movement. How many people attend the festival, and where do they stay? Only 1,500 people attended the first festival. Now, about 200,000 people attend the festival every year. The largest attendance numbers were recorded in 1994, when 300,000 people attended. Most people who attend the festival, camp in tents. There are different camping areas, which offer people different experiences. Some are quiet areas for families, while others are more lively. Most festival goers take their own tents, but there is a camping site with teepees for rent. How many stages are there at the festival? There are at least 30 different stages and performance areas at the festival. The main stage is the pyramid. It is 25 meters tall and has 292 audio speakers, 354 microphones, and 3,743 light bulbs. The original pyramid stage was a temporary structure, which was taken down after each festival. In 1981, it was built as a permanent structure, which is used as a cow shed on Worthy Farm in between festivals. Did you know? Most of the 2,000 plus staff at the festival are volunteer workers, who don't get paid. They are organized by the aid charity Oxfam. In return for their work, Oxfam receives a donation from the festival profits. Greenpeace and Water Aid are the two other main charities that receive large donations from the festival. However, smaller donations are given to other worthy causes, such as schools, sports groups, the campaign for nuclear disarmament, and carnival clubs. At the last festival in 2019, more than £3 million was raised for charities.